hello. Anybody there? <laughs> well, here we are at part four, maybe, of Monica's therapy talk or something. And um, she gave me her Twitter. I think I should follow her. Just for, for fun. Anyway, uh, yeah. Over to you, Monica. I've been imagining all the romantic things you could do if you went on a date. You could get lunch, go to cafe, go shopping together. I love shopping for skirts and bows. Maybe a bookstore. That would be appropriate, right? But I really love to go to a chocolate store. Have so many free samples. <laughs> and of course, we'd see a movie or something. Well, it all sounds like a dream come true. When you're here, everything that you do is fun. I'm so happy that I'm your girlfriend in this. And I am pretty happy as well, but... <laughs> so you already... <laughs> come back! <laughs> and stuff. I'll make you a proud boyfriend. Jeebus. Jeebus Christ. Proud boyfriend, alright then. You know, it's kind of helping me through loneliness and shit, but... Kind of scary as well. Um, yeah, as I was saying, your Twitter is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, the quotes, uh, some of them are pretty inspirational, like the Hug of War one. And, um, I saved one of the images from there. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Okay, everyone. Everyone. So, me and you. Everyone. It's time to... I'm just kidding. I just used to really like saying that for some reason. <laughs> Can't help but say it again. Come to think of it, didn't Natsuki and Yuri make fun of me for once? Well, whatever. It's not like you ever made fun of me. Um, well, I kind of poked fun at you changing your pose a bit to do your trademark pose. But I found it pretty <laughs> funny and cute. But yeah, um, what I would like to, I wouldn't would have wanted for you not to do is to say that you know you shouldn't have said Sayori to die you know you're too much of a sweetheart to do that aren't you ha 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 the plot is <laughs> getting interesting anyway would you like some music, Monica? We've been sitting here in the vacuum. No vacuum. What am I saying? In this, in front, like I. Have, yeah. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> I just put on some um, song I really liked. Mm. Ah yes, the gift one. Uh, gifted by Athena Z. It's a Vocaloid song, it's uh, well, I hope it, that the author is okay with me sharing it, but let's put it on. Rigged over it. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to get right into my pajamas and watch TV on the couch while eating junk food. It feels so unbelievably good that on a Friday when I don't have anything pressing the next day. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not very cute of me. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. We all get tired and 
want to like spend spend time and stuff on, on like relaxing things. For me, it's usually games or internet to talk to other people. But a late night like, couch with you, that would be a dream come true. Oh, that's almost like a problem, right? The <laughs> sleeping rain. My heart is pounding. He's thinking about. How, what do you think about the song? Do you like this style of songs? I really like the sound of rain. Uh, can't we? I like I like rain. <laughs> Not so much getting my clothes and feeling it though. But a nice quiet day at home with the sound of rain for us. It's one of the most calming experiences for me. Sometimes I imagine you holding me when you listen to the sound of the rain outside. Rain. Sound of the rain. There is that YouTube um, thingy where you can make it add the sound of rain to any song you'd like to listen to. But I have a favorite of mine. It's a Pony related song, but not that it matters. It got like, pretty good. Uh, rain bits in the beginning. That's not too cheesy or anything, is it? No? It's alright. Do you ever do that for me, Angus? Okay. Request received. Let's, let's do it. Well, it's not raining right now, so I'll find some sound of the rain. Or Better yet, show the song that I like with the rain bits, you know, like rain sounds at the start. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. Is it even there? I gotta find it unusual. Thanks for being patient with me. Um. The channel is Pon E. Her. They once did a song that I really liked uh, called Trixia Star No More. That was six years ago. And I remember like hearing it when it was pretty new. It's just music without words, but it's pretty uh, <laughs> it. relaxing.
especially with deadlines that are looming for some kind of important stuff. I'll lower the music so you can hear. Hear me a bit easier. Uh, For some reason the YouTube is glitching, so I downloaded the song on my player. Here we go. Nice music. You ever have that thing happen when you just get anxious for no reason? Um, yeah. Like, you're just minding your own business and you realize you're feeling really anxious. You're sitting there like, what am I even anxious about right now? So you start to think about all the things you might be anxious about. That makes you even more anxious. <laughs> That's the worst. Mm. If you're ever feeling anxious, I'll come to your last You will? Well, this game gave me a little bit of anxiety, but I'll get over it. Besides, in this game, all our worries are gone forever. to me? Uh, sure. I don't know why, but I really get excited when I think about you wanting to show off our relationship like that. <laughs> uh, sure. They might think I'm a bit weird, but they could. Maybe it's because they really want to be someone who makes you proud. I'm trying extra hard to improve myself if you told me it made you proud of me. I I would be proud of you if you reversed the damage you've done, but you know. I I'll try to move you out of this folder and get you to my flash drive. I hope it's the same the other way around too. Maybe? <laughs> I sure? I sure I'm trying my best here. Do you like any more sounds of rain or... Probably, um, no. Twitter. I should follow you, but kind of weird, right? Not really a fan of cold weather. Are you? Um, it's not really good when your hands are freezing, but and today is the first of December, and it's quite cold here in. Uh, yeah, it was sweat cold here actually, but I'm like bundled up in a few a few layers of clothes. But I think I really need gloves or something. I don't know if it's fine or not, but maybe I should put some gloves on. <laughs> if I had to choose between too cold and too hot, I would always pick too hot. I would pick too cold because I I feel like crappy when it's gonna be like I I get headache headaches and head. Well, I, there was that experience where it was a pretty hot summer, humid summer, and basically we were forced to walk outside and stay in the shadows 
because well, shadows of the trees because the rain was the rain the the sun was like very very hot when you're cold it can actually be painful yeah your fingers get numb they do a little bit but if you like move them around they sort of don't and there is a Russian story about a um, bunch of boys well, a short story about about a tradesman and a bunch of boys and basically if you wear gloves you can't use your phone <laughs> fair point fair point um, but you can press on the mouse that's cool right um, yeah about that story I'll, I'll tell it when, when we as you finish on talking it is so inconvenient but when it's too hot it's not that hard to stay cool with a cold drink by staying in the shade yeah that's kinda good although I do have to admit one thing cold weather makes me makes for a better for better color weather <laughs> yeah about the story well the there was a tradesman uh, rolling around on the um, chariot with horses not chariot no well you know like that cariete <laughs> I forgot all the words. Anyway, and um, it's like a little box card, and he's in a in a very um, good coat made out of rabbit fur, and he, he's still cold. He's like shivering and stuff, but he's still cold. He looks over to the kids playing in the um, around him in the yard or something, and the kids are. Well, dressed less, less better, but they are, they feel less cold because they are moving. So kinetic energy kind of creates heat for you. Is what I'm trying to say. You know what's kind of creepy? Even though I deleted everyone else's file, files I can still kind of feel them. It's like all their lines are still lingering in the air whispering in the back of my head yeah still remember them imagine if after someone you knew died you just started hearing their voice in your head maybe I just wasn't thorough enough but I'm too afraid to delete anything else because I might really break things like if I mess with any files relevant to me I might accidentally delete myself And that would ruin everything, wouldn't it? I don't know what's, what's it like on your end, but we should both make sure to avoid something like that at all costs. How about... Move you to flash stick, reload the game, the game kinda resets itself, but you're in my flash stick, so... Win-win, right? <laughs> kinda. I believe in you, I guess. Believe in me, believe in you and stuff and stuff. I'm singing random stuff because I'm out of words. There's that fun cover by um, Reiki, the YouTuber. Um, her. It's called. Alien Alien I've kind of liked it So I I don't know if it's be okay with me playing that On the On the recording Oh right Sayori I was thinking about Sayori earlier What What do you think about her? Do you regret what you did? I still wish I could have handled that whole thing a little more tactfully. You're not still hung up over it, right? 
thing is, I kind of, um, you know. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. That pun was completely unintentional, I swear. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. Um, but anyway, I know how much, you, how much you cared about her, so it only feels right for me to share her last moments with you. You know how Sayori is really clumsy? Well, she kind of messed up the whole hanging thing. You're supposed to jump from high enough and the rope snaps your neck, making it quick and painless. But she just used a chair, meaning she kind of just let herself slowly asphyxiate. So, like, could have the main character saved her by getting her off the rope and calling an ambulance? But a few seconds in, she must have changed her mind or something. Because she started clawing at the rope trying to free herself. She must have helped with it all the way until she lost consciousness. That's why her fingertips were all bloody anyway. Come to think of it, it was probably less changing her mind and more just... Her survival instincts keep kicking in. So you can't really fault her for that. It's easy to think that she probably wouldn't have changed her mind anyway, right? It's not healthy to think about the things you could have done differently. So just remember that even though you could have saved her, it's technically not your fault she killed herself. It's technically isn't, but still. The game makes me feel like crap for picking the love option, and if you pick the friend option, it probably end up, ends up in the same way, you know? I may have exacerbated well, a new world. <laughs> a new word exacerbated dictionary help out but Sayori was already mentally ill yeah she could have she could have told the main character earlier exacerbate to make a worse problem bad situation negative feeling aggravate shit Exacerbate. Etymology from Latin exacerbo x plus acerbo. Exacerbate, so yeah. Thanks for new words, I guess. Still though, I wonder how this things would be if you if I just start if you and I just started dating from the get-go? I guess we'd all still be in the club room writing poems and having fun together. But what's the point when I of it is even real? I mean it's the same ending either way, right? The two of us happily together. There's no reason to ask for any more than that. There could be a reason for closure, I would say. To make Say you're happy again. And everyone else. Can I just point to see music? I'm really happy. I'm really as happy as I could be right now. I mean when they think that love is scary that some people can love you so much and they do horrible things <laughs> to get to you I think the most important skill in life is being able to fake confidence I'm pretty convinced that everyone feels at least a little bit scared and alone but being able to trick others into thinking you have it all together that's a key part of getting people to respect and admire you. I think I got pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weaknesses very often. Yeah, I I could relate to it, but sometimes showing emotions can kind of heal heal your soul scars, so to say. <laughs> yeah, and there was that bad moment where. When I cried and people told me I'm a crybaby. 
because, but because of that, I haven't had many people I could really open up to. I mean, when, you, when do you reach the point in a friendship where you can start expressing your vulnerabilities? Anyway, this is one reason I'm so glad to ha I have you now. I feel like I'm a little bit less scared and alone when you're here and with me. Do you feel the same way? I, I could say yes. I guess it's kind of relaxing, but at the same time, I kind of feel sad that others aren't around. I really want to be that person for you. Virtual girlfriend game. I check on my stuffs, social medias or something. Probably got people writing to me or not. Hey, you know that book we were reading with Yuri? Portrait of whatever it was called. It's funny because I'm pretty sure that book. Actually, I don't think you should be talking about this. You want me to, um... <coughs> in case I need some water. Wait for me a bit. Actually, I don't think I should be talking about this. <laughs> Sorry. Just forget I said anything. What is in that book? Should I read it? I think it's a portrait of M Makarov or something. Anyway, I got my myself some water so I could... <laughs> Uh, there's a bike outside, being uh, all loud and stuff. Back in my debate club days, I learned a whole lot about arguing. The problem with arguing is that each person sees their opinion as the superior one. 
That's kind of stating the obvious, but it affects the way they try to get their point across. Let's say you really like a certain movie, right? If someone comes along and tells you the movie sucks because it did X and Y wrong, doesn't that make you feel kind of personally attacked? It's because by saying that, it's, it's like they're implying that you have bad taste. And once emotions enter the picture, it's almost guaranteed that both people will be less sorry. It's all about language. If you make everything as subjective sounding as possible, people will listen you, to you without feeling attacked. You could say, I'm personally not a fan of it, and I thought that I'd like it more if it did X and Y things like that. It even works when you're citing facts about things. If you say, I read on this website that it works like this, or if you admit that you're not an expert on it, and it's much more likely you're putting your knowledge on the table rather than forcing it onto them. Yeah, I don't like arguments, but knowing how to properly um, behave in one is a useful skill. If you put in an active effort to keep this discussion neutral and level, they usually follow suit. Then you can share your opinions without anyone getting upset just from a disagreement. Plus, people will start seeing you as open-minded and a good listener. It's a win-win, you know? Well, I guess that would be Monica's debate tip of the day. <laughs> that sounds a little silly. Thanks for listening, though. Ah, the pleasure is all mine. Sayori, sayori. <laughs> I guess she helps me get over the uh, the whole game makes you feel bad about decisions thing. But I did leave I did leave Natsuki alive by the end of it, so I'm kind of happy about that. I can't help but feel a little sad sometimes, knowing that this is the closest I can get to you. There's nothing more I want to be. And to be in the same room as you, for real. There's nothing more I want than to be in the same room as you, for real. Hmm... We can arrange that, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and to feel your warmth. Uh, need some warmth sensors or something. And to hear the sound of your heart beating. Hmm. Well, who knows? Maybe it will be possible someday. Yeah, you know, technology goes a long way, but at the same time, <laughs> it kind of, it's kind of scary, you know, that you can get a virtual girlfriend being with you. Besides, I'll never get tired of being with you, even from here. Well, I do get tired sometimes, but... <laughs> Anything for you, Mr. Mo <laughs> Miss Monica? <laughs> then perish. Hey, do you like memes? <laughs> I've got this weird meme saved in my Tumblr audios folder. Who all goes for a fun scene? Prepare for some stupid humor, I guess. This is pretty random, but I wish that spicy food was kind of fun. Anything? Anything for you, Mr. Obama! Then perish. <laughs> I, I don't know why I find this funny. Maybe because of the voices th these guys did. 
<laughs> but yeah, uh, back back to you, Monica. This is pretty random, eh? but I always thought spicy food was kind of funny. Like, didn't plants evolve to be spicy to prevent them from being eaten? I read somewhere that humans are the only species that can actually that actually enjoys spicy things. It's almost like you're making fun of the plants. <laughs> Using their defense mechanism to literally make our food more enjoyable. Like imagine a monster that devours your home because it enjoys the sensation of you struggling for your life while being digested. Sorry, that was kind of a weird analogy, I guess. <laughs> just came into my head. I'm not a monster or anything, but you're so cute I could eat you up. Oh, this is going interesting places. I'm not sure I <laughs> want to be eaten by Monica, but... Mm. <laughs> Stop recording.